Well, this is my first day doing my altered book, uh, COVID virus homebound project. So um, you can start with any book. I particularly like hardcover books. It doesn't really matter what the book is because it's really just your canvas um, that you're going to turn into your expressive work of art. So I'm gonna try and do many of these pages with stuff that you can find around your house. So that's why I have a bowl here mixed with um, flour and water. So it's about a quarter cup of flour and a quarter cup of water, maybe a little bit more water. And then I found some grocery bags. Um, so I'm gonna use those with some uh, flour and water to cover my book front and back. And then I can paint on it, I can draw on it, I can do anything I want. Now, if you happen to have a lot of paint, you can paint right on top of this. If you have any kind of air dry clay, you can apply that on here. You can cover it with ribbons and all sorts of things, but we're trying to express something about our experience um, going through this COVID virus thing that's happening across the world. So I'm just gonna work on the cover as the beginning of this, and this will be kind of our one week project is working on the cover and it should be expressive of your experience. So some ideas that I had is I'm gonna use some recycled materials. I found the bottom of a soda bottle and some caps and I'm thinking I'm gonna apply them to the cover and turn those into like little viruses or something. Um, it doesn't have to be about the virus on the cover. It's really about you. It's just what I happen to be doing. Um, and if you don't have paint, you know, something else you could do is just like, um, maybe, you know, somebody has some old house paint around the house that you could use. Um, nail polish would certainly work. Um, you can actually use very strong coffee and the more layers you put on it, will get the light browns and dark browns and stuff like that. But I'm gonna do the flour and water. So I'll probably speed this up as I go. Um, but all I'm gonna do is take my paper, dip it into, the glue mixture, it's pretty nasty feeling. It's kind of slimy. And you'll notice that I covered my work surface um, with a garbage bag. So if anything drips on there, like it just did, it'll be easy to kind of clean up on the end. So um, I'm only wrapping the cover, so I'm gonna go ahead and smooth that on there, and I'm going to cover it around the edge. Now, if you're worried about um, some of the goop kind of getting on the inside of the book, you could certainly wrap it with some uh, plastic wrap or something like that. So I'm gonna go continue doing this. And as I'm going, I'm kind of thinking about my ideas. What do I wanna do with this cover? What do I want to express? So some of the things I've been stressing about is, you know, like shopping. You know, you've heard people going crazy over toilet paper. I'm not quite sure what that's about. Um, but people have been buying toilet paper. I actually made a mistake one time and we bought too much and then this whole thing happened and then, well, we're just gonna keep what we have so we didn't have to go buy anymore. So I'm gonna continue doing that. And that might even be kind of a fun thing, you know, is um, you know, taking some of these topics that we're experiencing and including them into your work, like this idea of toilet paper going crazy. I mean, you could use toilet paper on your cover. Um, and actually, cheap toilet paper, if you wet it, will stick to most surfaces. Now I'm doing a flour and water mix. You could certainly do um, watered down glue. That will work too. Um, it won't quite be as messy as this stuff is. You notice my hands are have lots of this stuff on it, so now I can just use my hands to apply that. I'm making sure that the color stays on the downside as I wrap it, goes inside, and keep covering my cover. So um, that's kind of your first assignment is cover your book in some way. Um, you don't have to do paper mache, you could paint, uh, you could find an old shirt, glue it up, and then put it in there. You can um, actually if you get a half a bowl of water and you add some um, Elmer's glue to it, you can actually put fabric in there and that'll, um, that could be the cover of your book. So use your imagination. 
This is supposed to be kind of rough and it's a rough situation. You know, we're dealing with this whole virus thing. Nobody's ever been through this before. And at the end of this, hopefully things will get better and we'll have a document of what it is that we went through that we can share with our friends and families and um, you know, maybe even our community as artists. So um, think about what it is you want to do to cover your book. Um, if you want to do the paper mache, that's great. If you want to do something else. Um, there's no right or wrong answer on this. So I will speed this up and you'll be able to see what my book cover looks like. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry overnight like this. And then um, maybe I'll paint on it. Maybe I'll start adding on my little extras with some more paper mache. Um, but we're gonna try some other things tomorrow. All right, thank you very much.